Hello. Hello. Don't mind my hair. 521, bloody hell. Sorry we didn't do it last night, but yes. Um, for those of you who weren't rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> We start out the episode, the girls go to visit Allie. They tell her everything that Mike said about Mona and blah, blah, blah. And, I mean, naturally, she wants to tell her lawyers about it to try to get herself acquitted. Duh. Did you not think that she was going to want to do that? I know I would. You? I wouldn't even have said anything to the girls. I would have just done it. Seriously. Sorry, I'm not going to sit in jail and rot because of some plan that you guys had now. Sorry, but not sorry. All right, so then, go ahead. Can we just touch base real quick that in the previously on Pretty Little Liars. Yes. They flash back to Ezra. Ezra. Talking to Hannah about the whole... Uh, well, that was glass last week, slipper. Wasn't it? Um, that was two weeks ago that her and him were having the conversation. Last week is when they were dancing, and then this week in the beginning, they showed him talking to her like as a flashback. Okay, but whatever. Whether it was last week, this week, whatever. He says to you know they they recap the well, who is Kate? Where Ezra and Hannah are talking, and he's like, well, who is Kate? Hello. If he is Big A, obviously they, he would ask who is Kate, because he's the one who fucking wrote it on the fucking paper. <sighs> Duh. They only recap stuff that's of importance, like in before the lady killer. They up uh the last the the thing that's like previously on Pretty Little Liars before the lady killer episode, where Toby's arguing with Spencer. I will find out who A is, and I will put it in whatever he says to her. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, dun, dun, dun. He's Toby. fucking Toby. Yeah, or he's fucking on the A-team. And then the same thing with Mona. The same they thing with Mona, They yeah. recap in, in the episode where they find out that it's Mona. Uh, they, they recap where Mona and Hannah are sitting down talking about or, or, talking about A in her room. Always pay attention to the previously on Pretty Little Liars. Because they always give you hints as to what's going to happen. And sometimes pay attention to who's saying previously on Pretty Little Liars. Mm -hmm. So... Mrs. Hastings spoke to Ren and said to Spencer, I spoke to Ren and yeah. Melissa. And you can stay with them when you go over to London to meet with the professor and at Purdue Oxford. Yeah, he got Oxford. you an interview, but he probably never even went to Oxford, so I don't believe he did. Because doctor, but anyway, let's continue here. Seriously, um, they need to stop with the Cinderella bullshit. I'm over it. I am sick and tired of seeing hashtag my slipper. I don't give a shit. I don't want to see. I don't watch Pretty the Little movie. Liars to watch to freaking get an insight. Okay, fucking... maybe, maybe, maybe if they were inside the movie, saying. Well, perhaps we should go watch Pretty Little Liars. Then I'd be interested. They don't even have TVs back then. I want to go see The Death. I have wanted to see The Death before I knew that they had anything about Pretty Little Liars in it. But this obviously does not. So, ixnay on the end of fucking Ella say. Anyway. <laughs> what she said. What I said, yes. So, um, Mrs. Hastings' services are now a dollar an hour. For Aria. She just pulls out a dollar. Will you be my lawyer? Will you I be thought my it was going to be like a hundred or something like that. You or pulled a, out the, at least a 20. Like, you've got to have more than a dollar in that designer purse. But yet, then, then they're that. talking about... On the other hand, I do carry a coach purse around, and sometimes I do but not. Later, okay, but later <laughs> on in the episode, they're talking about how they could pay Cyrus off. And Hannah's like, no, I don't even have enough money to get into college. I'm not going to pay Cyrus off. And she's like, well, I'll take care of it. Bitch, you don't even have a dollar to pay for a lawyer. So where are you getting this money well, Theoretically, to pay yes, off? you do have a dollar, but that is all that you have is a dollar. And it's very suspicious that somebody was in that hospital after Aria found out where Cyrus was. But... Oh my god, I need to wash my hair. Okay, fuck off and bye, Talia. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, but goodbye. wait, no, Except she's back. For, wait a second, she was nice and she actually stuck up friendly, so she's back. Hmm. 
I hate her. I can't stand Talia. I don't care. She didn't even redeem herself with me tonight. All right. Honestly, every single time that the girls try, even attempt to say, and I understand, you know, she's trying to protect Mike because then he'll be A's target, blah, blah, blah. But obviously he already is somewhat of A's target considering what happens later on in the episode. But every time that they want to say anything to the police, to someone, an authority figure, their parents, Arya's like, well, we can't because blah, blah, blah. And this and that. And I stubbed my toe and I carried a flashlight and I somersaulted over a fucking fence. But we can't do shit. Over it. She's nine. Over it. No, Allie is not A. Thank you. I actually felt... Can we just talk about this person really quick that supposedly had, was talking about those spoilers that had like was working for Pretty Little Liars or whatever? Oh, oh, I think that deserves its own video. Well, I'm saying though, so they never, they never uh, thought to mention like this Varjak thing, or they never thought to mention uh, Hannah gets arrested for murder. That's what I'm saying. That deserves its own video, because while we're making the video, I will pull up that stupid interview. I don't believe anything that the person says, but okay. This is where that Charles thing came from. Okay. This fan forum thing Just that we will discuss in, a next, in the next video. But, okay, I felt really bad for Allie in this episode. I didn't. I did. I felt bad for her at the end when she was crying with Hannah, but up until then, I didn't feel bad for her. <laughs> like, even when Mrs. Hastings went in there, everyone was like, God, Mrs. Hastings needs to back off. No. No, she doesn't. I'm sorry. Allie might not deserve to be on trial for murder, but she deserves to sit in that jail cell for a, a little bit longer. She does. She lied to everybody. She's fucking tortured these girls, like, growing up. And I'm not saying that, oh, you torture somebody, you deserve to sit in jail. No. But she has the answers, and she's not giving them to people. And I, I honestly think that. I think that she knows a lot more than... She might know more than she's letting on, but I, I don't think she has all the answers. I have to disagree I don't think she that. has all the answers, but I do think she has some of them. Like, somebody posted to us today, why are these girls not asking her who Beach Hottie is or who Board Shorts is? That or, doesn't... And, right, exactly. But at the same time, and in the same... At the same friggin' time... Why aren't you sitting Toby down and saying, okay, you They're not were doing on with the anybody. A-team. Why the fuck is this person and who the fuck? Because at that point, Ezra, supposedly, you were writing a book. You thought that Mrs. D was fucking A for a short minute. Who is it, Ezra? Because if you're who writing else a book, did you think? Well, and considering that you had a camera facing at your apartment door, you should be able to find other ways of surveillance. This motherfucker's going to wind up being big so, A. Anyway. He's going to wind up being big A, and I'm just going to be pissed. Let's not go there. I'm going to be pissed. All right. I'm going to be with it. The next question I have is, why the fuck is Andrew hiding in Arya's bush? Yes, I understand the sexual connotations to I what I said. I don't like him. But honestly, every time you turn around, boom, there he is. He's got a baseball bat. He's there in the bush. He's there inside the house running to the rescue when she falls off the friggin' uh, weight bench. Okay, Why? Why? He's Why like are you stalker. making this person an integral part of the show for the last three freaking episodes? Stop. Stop. Please stop. Stop introducing new characters. I like Colin. He's fabulous. But still, he's he's just fabulous. I don't okay? Like him. I like him. But anyway. I don't like anybody that's new. How about we, I don't know, bring some of the old characters How about back we that do we that? fucking yeah. seen in 17 seasons? Perhaps Jason, Jenna, Melissa, um... Jason was Should I go out on a limb and, and say, He's how about again. how about they actually show another Mona flashback? We haven't seen one in two weeks. Anybody. Enough with Talia. I'm sick of seeing her fucking face. I'm sick and si- tired of seeing fucking anything with her and Emily tap dancing across I the can't goddamn see room. Like, enough. Enough. Although, was he? He, he, he wasn't, wasn't in this, this episode. Yeah. He's, thank God. But he'll be back. He'll fucking be back. Mark my words. He'll be back right before the, the fucking finale. And he'll be fucking squeezing his way back in the fucking shit. Probably. All oh, right. no, I'm so, sorry. There'll be a new Johnny by then. Andrew asks Arya if she wants to go see all the president's men who's about a shadowy figure that has information secrets on people. And Yeah, we understood who he was describing. That's yes. her type of movie. Okay. All right. So that could have been a clue pointing directly at that moment. But not him. Her. Andrew is not fucking A. Andrew is not A. Thank you. Yes. 
London. I was supremely, and I will say it this way, supremely happy to see London, England. I have had a fascination with it for years. But anyway, um, I was disappointed that we didn't even get to see not even a hair on the chinny chin chin of motherfucking Ren. He was nowhere to be found. He and was, he won't be for the rest of the season. He was hanging out in Kent with Melissa, my ass. No, but it was, I mean, it was a little convenient that, oh, uh, well, he'll be back in about 24 hours. Yeah, yeah because he's in But then he's not back Rosewood. in 24 hours. Because he's in Rosewood. Okay. How is A, if in fact it is A, how are they getting into a maximum security, even if it's minimum security, how? Are they getting in there? Any type and of security. Any type of security. The county the jail. Fucking, the the lady the hell, at the fucking hospital was security enough. She was. But yet. <laughs> but <laughs> yet inside the jail, they're tossing messages underneath her friggin' like through the cracks of the. I'm talking about the lady at the hospital. I know who you're talking about. I'm talking about the jail and how there's no security at a friggin' women's correctional facility that they don't <laughs> see somebody writing on the table. Mona. Told everything. Okay, who was that? Who tossed the message to Alex? That shit would have been wiped off. There was not that much dust on that fucking table. No. That, like, uh, they have cleaning people. What were they doing? Using a friggin' Saza inside that place? <laughs> like, what know. the heck is going on? That's what I'm saying. This show is just, has, it's reached such a fucking, like, unrealistic feel to it. It's like, everything that happens in this town is like, that would never happen in real life. That would never happen in real life. I'm sorry, but when I go into jails and fucking visit people, which I don't partake in often, um, I don't even think I've ever gone to one to visit anybody, but uh, I would not be sitting at a table that's got an inch of dust on no. it. No. I'd be like, no. No. And I certainly wouldn't be writing love letters in the table. No, absolutely not. Ooh. On to the next topic. Shay Mitchell looked absolutely stunning. In her pink top and her fucking leather skirt. Get it, bitch. But that's the scene where fucking Talia moved into her fucking house. So I don't like it. On to the next one. Yes. Fuck uh, you, Talia. Naturally, she's crushing at Emily's. That was the next one. Naturally. Uh, okay, so. Sure, I'd love that. Of course you would, you fucking homewrecker. Okay, so Cyrus is the person in the burn unit. We come to find mm -hmm. out after, uh. Big friggin' Rhonda's twin sister was at the window. <laughs> she was. She Yikes. was, damn. She, she was, was like, oh, hell no. You are not getting in there without putting on this, this, and this. Like, wow. Why they don't have that woman working at the friggin' prison is and beyond me. And then we wouldn't me. have people breaking in there. Exactly. And although, they got, A got, well, are, we're assuming that it's A, but it could be somebody that's not A that was in the burn unit. Whoever it was got past her. Yeah, not to say that A is not Although working they alone, as we already know from Marlene King. They were probably yeah, there for a week. Yeah, unable to breathe, just chilling with a sheet over their head. That's what I'm saying. Like, when people are in burn units, they, their face is wrapped, but they they do have a slit here so they could breathe, and they could fucking, like, they're not, their face isn't entirely covered. Like, that person's face was covered with gauze, wrapped around it, wrapped around it, and yet, he got up out of that fucking, that bed, God knows how long you were sitting there not breathing, got up out of that bed and walked over to Cyrus's bed as if he could fucking see through the gauze. Like, what the fuck? Unrealistic. Unrealistic. Absolutely. Again, we'll say it again. Unrealistic. All right. Okay. Uh, this might have to take up the next video because we're getting into... Well, we're 14. Right? right. So we're going to be getting into the discussion of Spencer with her interview in Oxford. We will be back.